Beef consumption in China is set to increase at a staggering rate. China's rapidly growing urban middle class see beef as an aspirational food source, consuming up to 40% more beef than rural and low-income counterparts. Recent food safety issues in pork and poultry have also contributed to a rise in beef demand. China's fragmented beef industry, primarily small farms and processing facilities, coupled with comparatively low beef yields, means the domestic industry faces significant challenges meeting future consumption demands. Concurrently, changes in the supply chain, sophisticated cold chain logistics and the relentless rise of organised retail are driving growth in chilled and frozen beef imports. Finally, some 12% of China's beef supply currently enters the country via unofficial grade trade channels, which ANZ forecasts will be increasingly regulated in the coming decade. ANZ Insights have completed an in-depth analysis on how these factors will shape the future of China's beef market and what this means for the Australian exporters. We modelled a range of scenarios, concluding that to maintain the existing market share in 2030, Australia would have to achieve around 3% productivity growth year on year. At Australia's current productivity growth of 0.5%, we forecast Australia's market share of China beef imports could drop from 57% to only 6% into 2030. Yet China would still represent a major export market worth some $679 million in 2030. But if Australia can meet the productivity challenge, it truly is a golden opportunity. Beef exports worth as much as $7.7 .7 billion in 2030, with as much as 21% of all beef consumed in China being sourced from Australian farmers. ANZ invites you to delve deeper into our report to discover more.